Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a new uh, quick Photoshop tutorial. Today I want to show you something um, uh, a bit different. Uh, a few days ago I, I published a tutorial where I showed you how to change the contrast of an image uh, without affecting the saturation of the colors using the luminosity blend mode. And now I want to show you something a bit different. I want to show you how to change the luminosity of the colors, of independent colors of your image without affecting the rest of the, the rest of the colors. I have this image here which I got from unsplash.com and you'll find, you'll find the link of, uh, to this image on my website and the link is on the description. And for example, I can make the sky darker without affecting any of the colors here. Um, I can make the, the greens, like the trees here, to make them brighter without affecting the sky or the rest of the colors. And I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do that using the same blend mode, which is luminosity. So I'm gonna go here on the layers palette and I'm gonna add a selective color. You can also wor work with the black and white, I'll show you that in a second, but let's use selective color for now. And when you add this um, selective color, you can see nothing happens on the image. Here we have a list of colors which uh, we can uh, modify. And the sliders here are not going to um, make much of a difference, so uh, we're just going to work with the black um, especially. And let's change the blend mode of this adjustment to luminosity. You will see that the, still nothing happens on the image. And let's start working on the colors. Let's work on the blues, which uh, we have there on the sky. It's important to notice that if, for example, if we work on the blues, we will affect all the blues on the image, not just the sky. Everything where we have blues, we will um, change them. So now here, as I said, we work, we're going to work with the blacks. And what happens if we change the blacks here, what we do is we change the luminosity of the blues. And since we have this on luminosity, we will not affect the saturation or anything else, just the light values. So if I change the black to the right, I'm going to make them darker. Um, as you can see right there on the top. The bottom part is not affected too much because this is cyan. So we have to use the cyan's uh, color here and do the same, make this darker. If you change the other sliders over here, uh, if you move them to the right, uh, you will start to see how you make them uh, even darker. So let's do the same with the blues. And you can see that we made them very dark. But if you zoom in, if you just go all the way, all the slides, you can start to see noise and artifacts appearing here. So just be careful. Uh, with the greens, for example, we can do the same. Uh, we can use the blacks. If you want to make them brighter, we have to move the slider, the black slider to the left, because that way we remove black from the greens. In other words, we make them brighter and do the same with the other sliders. Also, the greens have some yellows on them, so by moving the yellow slider, you can also make the greens brighter. And I'm not gonna go any further. I'm just gonna show you the before and after. Before and after. So you can see we, we created the illusion that we have a slider, sort of a weird HDR effect. Uh, the greens, I don't like how, how they look like, but um, just uh, for you to see how you can change the tones of the image and you can see the rest of the colors here are not being affected Let's try the same with the Black and white the problem with the black and white is that when you add it you already Change the image a bit if we change this to luminosity uh, I deactivate this now you can see it kind of gives some values by default to the colors here, so uh, You're not starting from a zero point uh, to to put it that way. Uh, for example, for the greens, uh, this is a lot easier. You just select the color that you want and just move the slider to the right if you want to make them that color brighter or to the left. Be careful. Um, for example, if you have uh, skin textures, you have persons on the scene, the reds and yellows will affect the skin. So if you increase the yellows, you will make the skin brighter uh, if you move the slider to the right. And But also the greens also affect uh, skin tones. So you can see I can make the reds darker, for example. I can make the sky really dark here. The benefit of using the black and white is that the adjustment here is a lot stronger than you get with the, um, with the selective color. So um, keep that in mind. We have no magentas on the image. So yeah, that's it. Uh, before and after. You can see how I quickly changed the luminosity of these colors without affecting the saturation or uh, things like that. Um, so that's 
pretty much it. Oh, this is all that I wanted to show you. I hope you liked uh, this tip. Uh, I'm Andre from PSD Box, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.